Hello guys, in 2021 I started a new tradition of releasing one course per month and I successfully did it 12 courses in 2021 and I continue this tradition and today I launch my course for the January which is new advanced Laravel Livewire. In this video I will show you what's inside the course and at the end of this video you will have a free lesson about customizing the stubs for Livewire components. So if you go to laraveldaily.teachable.com and click on advanced Laravel Livewire and purchase the course you will get here. So what's inside? This course is for those who already work with Livewire so you know what is wire model, how to bind everything, what is the component and the main things around Livewire. But you want to get deeper to create bigger projects with Livewire to find out how to fix some bugs if they appear and stuff like that. And a year ago I released a course for the beginners so in the list of laraveldaily.teachable.com you can find Livewire from scratch and over a year I've been working with various Livewire projects both working myself and reviewing other projects so this is the experience that I gathered over a year in this course. This course is not very long, just over one hour, so you can get through that quickly. And I deliberately made the videos as short as possible. I do that on this YouTube channel as well. So my victory is if I manage to make the video lower than five minutes while still communicating everything I wanted to say. So similar in the course. So two minute videos, as you can see. The first section is quick tips and tricks. So things that I think some people don't really know or haven't heard how Livewire does some things. So this is the first section. Then structuring components is basically from the questions that I get over on this YouTube channel or on Twitter or email. So how to structure things like full page components or reuse the same components or work with nested components, which have, by the way, quite a particular bug and things to know about nesting. Also a few things that I've gathered how to work with performance and how to debug Livewire components. Then this is probably number one problem when working with Livewire is how to work with JavaScript and extended libraries, third party libraries of JavaScript or jQuery. So I have examples for select two and CK editor. And then finally, we will go through the examples. I called them in the wild. So open source projects that use Livewire heavily. And in each of them, we will have a lesson or two on something particular for that project, including Laravel Jetstream, Spotty, and well-known Laravel IO. If you are new to Livewire, I suggest that you start with that course of practical Livewire from scratch and then go to the current one. And if you want to participate in my journey of creating courses and get all the courses, which is currently 25 courses, the best way to do that is to subscribe to the yearly membership, which costs $99 plus taxes if that applies to you. And for that, you get all the current courses and everything I will release a year ahead. The next on my list is probably Alpine JS course. And also I'm planning to update a lot of courses to Laravel 9 when it is released in February 2022. So the best deal for that, instead of paying for individual courses, just get on the membership and you will get everything that I've just listed. And also you will support this YouTube channel. Now, at the end, as I promised, one free lesson, how to customize the stubs for Livewire components. Enjoy. Let's take a look at the default structure of Livewire components. So what if we do PHP Artisan, make Livewire, for example, project edit or something like that. Some component, right? And let's take a look in app HTTP Livewire project edit, right? So this is the default structure of the component. What if you want to customize that? What if you want to have some different structure for all the components when you run make Livewire or Livewire make? For example, you want to have mount method ready for you all the time. So public function mount, maybe with empty body, but you want it to be present in every component. You can customize the default so-called stubs of Livewire by running PHP Artisan Livewire stubs. What happens then? Then you have a folder called stubs in your Laravel project with the default stubs like templates for all your future components. So we open livewire.stub and you can override it however you want. So for example, you may add public function mount like this. Let's save that and let's try to create another component. So make live wire, project create, for example, component created. And let's see what we have here. So now in the new component, we have mount method. So this is how you can customize the live wire component, including, for example, live wire view stub, 
which has the inspirational quote by default inside of the div, so you can customize that as well. It's really similar to what Laravel has, the same logic. If you run php artisan stub publish, that's Laravel command. Similar in the stubs folder, you have the stubs for all the different files of Laravel that are generated with make command, make model, make controller. So for example, default model looks like this and you may customize that however you want. So this is identical in Livewire with the command Livewire stubs.